Uh, my name is Jo Collin and I work for Sport New Zealand. I'm the young person to lead. Physical activity is important for our under fives because it gives us the building blocks and foundations for them to get a positive connection and love of moving. And with that love of moving, it gives them the confidence to want to carry on and take that into um, that adulthood. And that's crucial for um, whatever happens um, in the future for them. So under fives um, should be getting um, approximately three hours at least um, of physical activity. Now, that sounds pretty daunting to um, most parents, saying so three hours in your day, um, but that can be broken up. Um, so thinking about how you might take um, your under five to um, school with one of their older siblings on their push bike or scooter. It might be so 20 minutes playing in the sandpit with a friend, giving the opportunity to um, sort of move around in, in the backyard um, with, you know, with mum or dad or, or granny and granddad in terms of those kind of activities. So it's looking at how you sort of chunk it down, not thinking I've got to do three hours solid. Types of activities that she's doing really um, needs to be fun, first and foremost fun. Um, so that, that fun element that it's engaging for them. It doesn't have to be structured either. I think there's a, a sort of premise from parents that they've got to put their, their young under five into a session, a structured session or an activity, and that means they're doing the right thing. Actually, it's just about getting out in the environment. It's giving them the space. It's giving them the time and the permission to be active. And I think when you give them that, those kids want to play you aren't going to stop them so it's any of those kind of activities I think one example I would give is um, I had a parent of a two-year-old ask me what session should they put their child into and I said you don't need to put them in a session go and visit every park and outdoor space in the Wellington region and your kid will be active and love moving and have that excitement to want to take it on. So physical activity helps with childhood obesity by clearly being part of the prevention <laughs> rather than a cure. It's really clear that if we get a lifelong love of movement and physical activity that is brought into our, our daily lives um, throughout a, you know, an early stage but onto adulthood, um, there's more chance that they're going to understand about health and well-being, both, both nutrition and exercise. And there's a wealth of evidence out there that shows us that if we've got young people who are active at an early age, they're less likely to become obese. They're more likely to remain active and understand the consequences of what they eat, what um, activity they need to do, just to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So physical activity helps the child's um, growth and development in a variety of attitudes of ways, but the first that everyone goes to, and rightly so, is the physical sort of the development physically in terms of being able to move. Development both of um, muscles, bones, um, coordination um, are all crucial. But I think sometimes we lose sight of uh, the development socially and emotionally that, um, that physical activity can have. The ability to connect, um, you know, the communication, non-verbal and verbal with um, friends is really, is really important. But also it can and improve their cognitive ability. So that's a problem solving um, piece that we would see them being able to work things out as they're playing and as they're engaging in physical activity. And I think the final one is, is connecting to the environment they're in, um, really crucially connecting to the land, the space that they're in that makes them feel safe and relevant, that they want to be physically active for life. So the most important messages for those uh, that are working with um, the families of under fives or those parents and, and families of under fives is really um, talking about making sure that it's fun fun, engaging, relevant. If you love doing something both as an adult as a child, you're going to continue to do that. Um, and as I said previously, it's about making sure that we give them the space, the time and the permission to be physically active. And we know from working with young people and, and talking to parents, the most important thing for a youngster is that they do that with their family, with their whanau, with their friends, that they engage in physical activity that way. It doesn't have to cost. It doesn't have to be a structured, organised thing. It can just be out in the backyard or in the local park, playing with family, engaging with the community and connecting to the land.